Hey folks, over the last few weeks we've been talking about Soft Plastics 101 and we've been surrounded by jig heads and plastics sitting at these tables. Today we are stripped back to the bare minimum and I'll tell you why. We've been set a challenge by a few people that have sent us in messages and they've said give us your ultimate salt water soft plastics kit for fishing rivers and estuaries. So basically, there's a couple of guys that are wanting to try soft plastics for the first time this holidays, and they want a starting kit. And we've also got a couple of people that have hit us up because they want to set up their son or father with a kit to get them started fishing their local rivers and estuaries. So this is our ultimate kit. We've gone with four plastics, four jig heads, and a scent. Uh, suggested retail, round about that 100 buck mark, and you'll catch a lot of fish out of what we've got here. For example, that three inch minnows, I've caught over 50 flathead on a single plastic and jig head. So potentially a lot of fish and a lot of different species in this kit that we've got here. So we'll step through them one at a time and just expand on, on what we're talking about here. So firstly, first cab off the rank, we couldn't go past a two and a half inch grubs. So two and a half inch grubs, we've had tons and tons and tons of photos sent into us over the years of different species caught on that little curl tail. So two and a half inch curl tail, uh, a saying that Nick White reiterated to me recently was, big lures catch big fish, small lures catch all fish. And, and there's no better example, I think, than that two and a half inch grubs. That two and a half inch grubs, I would have seen 70 or 80 different species over the years, photos sent into us caught on that two and a half inch grubs across the fresh and salt water. So, so everything eats it. <clears throat> In terms of rigging it, we're gonna rig it on a 1 16th number one jig head. So that's our light presentation for fishing around pontoons, around natural structure, across the flats. 1 16th is enough to give us a, a pretty decent cast. Also control it if there's a bit of wind and current, and it's enough to sink it down around under those pontoons if we wanna fish a little bit deeper as well. So that's plastic number one of our four. One sixteenth, one headlocks finesse jig head on a two and a half inch grubs in bloodworm. If you want to pick a color, motor oil is a good color, greasy prawns a good color, but we've locked in bloodworm as our non-UV color. And that's because in our next plastic, we've gone with motor oil so that we've got our non-UV and we've got our UV color covered as well. So that's first soft plastic. Second plastic is a two and a half inch slim swims. Since this thing has become available, it has absolutely slayed the fish. It's slayed a stack of different species. I've got flathead up and over 70 centimetres plus on it, big brim on it, all sorts of species will eat that two and a half inch slim swims. It's just a beautiful little paddle tail style of plastic. Uh, I've chosen a headlocks finesse, so that fine gauge hook again for the ultimate penetration. And I've chosen a 1 8 in a 1 0. <clears throat> Potentially, you could go a 1 8 in a 1. And what that would give you is it'd give you a 1 16th one and a 1 8th one that you could alternate between those two plastics. And basically then you can fish the grubs or the slim swims on a 1 16th or a 1 8th. So why 1 8th? A 1 8th covers brim when they're spawning in the deeper water. It covers those drop-offs and edges. It's awesome along the flats. It's great if there's a bit more run or a bit more wind, just gives you a little bit more weight. And it's a great size for flathead across the flats as well. So there we go. We've got our grubs in our non-UV colour bloodworm and we've got our UV colour, that motor oil in a two and a half inch slim swims. Between those two plastics, you've got brim, flathead, trevally, all sorts of things covered. What you also have is you've got some small profile presentations for the big fish out there that can be a bit finicky, like tarpon, giant herring, some of those big fish that are always feeding on a little tiny bait and they're often difficult to catch, you can catch those big guys on these two plastics as well. From there, we step up to our two larger plastics that we've selected. Uh, I've gone with the three inch minnows, absolute all rounder. Uh, when you see our Tackle Tactics Pro team interviewed about which is their go-to plastic, you'll often hear three inch minnows, three inch minnows, three inch minnows. It's, you know, a greedy brim will eat it, but we've got our brim plastics, we're stepping up here. This is our flathead, this is our jewfish, this is our snapper plastic. And I've gone with the opening night color because it's a great clear water color, but it's also got that bit of fleck in there which makes it still effective in dirty water. But I've also got, again, in my other plastic, I'm covering that dirty water option. So I've got the clear water, dirty water covered. So that three inch minnows in opening night appeals to a stack of species, also good on your pelagic species and that sort of thing as well, that can sometimes come into your river and estuary. Things like tailor, salmon, 
So another effective plastic in a paddle tail. Jig head wise, I've selected a Headlocks HD, so a heavy hook, so I can take on big predatory species, and I've chosen a quarter ounce. So a quarter ounce is perfect for working the flats, working the edges of the flats and drop-offs, but we can also fish deeper water on a slow fall when the tides are, are turning. So when that tide goes slack and you want to hunt snapper and dewies and things, that can be a good slow presentation for them as well. And our final plastic is a four inch Streaks Curly Tails. So you can see we've gone a curly tail and a paddle tail in the smaller plastics, we've gone a curly tail and a paddle tail in the larger plastics as well. So that four inch Streaks Curly Tails, dynamite on snapper, dynamite on mulloway, jewfish, so effective on a lot of different species. Also the flatties love it. And we've gone with a 3 8 ounce 3 in a Headlocks HD jig head. So what that allows us to do is to alternate between the quarter and the 3 8 ounce with both of these plastics. So effectively we've bought two packets of jig heads that will suit either of these plastics. So we've got our quarter ounce, we've got our 3 8 ounce for fishing deeper edges, bridge pylons, faster run, or for fishing real deep water when we're fishing slack tides. So basically the, the systems that I fish range from a couple of feet down to about nine metres, and I'd, I'd, I'd fish that 3 8 on the slack tides in those deepest section of where I fish for snapper and mulloway and those sorts of things. Colour wise, we've got nuked chicken glow. So again, you can mix it up. You can go for, if you're fishing predominantly darker water, you might go your fluoros and your dark colours. If you're fishing predominantly clear water, you might go your lighter, more natural colours. But I've got a good cross section here. Non-UV, UV in my smaller plastics, more natural colour and a more fluoro-y reaction type colour in my larger plastics. So there we go. Our, our four jig heads, one sixteenth, one light, one eighth, one light, one quarter, three oh heavy, three eight, three oh heavy, and our plastics are a bloodworm two and a half inch grubs, motor oil two and a half inch slim swims, three inch minnows in opening night, and a four inch streaks curly tails in new chicken glow. The scent I have chosen, try and keep me to one scent, and I'm struggling because I love pilchard, bloody tuna, inch of salt water. There's lots of good ones, but if I had to get one, I would get mullet. Mullet are readily available in the estuaries. Everything eats mullet. We love mullet and mullet is a great scent that's tested and proven on those plastics. So there you go. That is my ultimate soft plastics kit for saltwater river and estuary fishing. I hope that gets you hooked up to a few fish. I hope a few of you score it for Christmas if that's, if, if that's video is going out to the people that sent us those messages. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.